Well, hello everybody and welcome back to yet another Planet Zoo mod making video. My name is Leaf and as always, it is such a blessing to have every single one of you here again today. So, let's jump into it guys. We are making the TT Monkey. Alright, funny jokes aside about this guy's little promiscuous name. These guys are found in Bolivia, this specific one actually. It's the Bolivian Grey TT Monkey and some parts of Brazil. They are absolutely adorable. They have these fluffy little heads and they look like the fattest monkeys ever. And you can see me, unfortunately I do have some problems with Blender and it's just, it's just such a pain to get through right now. But I hope you guys like enjoy watching me struggle through all of this. These guys are adorable. So I made these guys for Nick, as you guys might know, Nicholas Lion Rider. He's currently making the Roger Williams Park Zoo recreation. And I just wanted to like help get the next episode out because I know a lot of you guys, we have like some crossover and I know a lot of you guys are wondering where that episode might be. We're just way too lazy to make the monkeys and that is the only thing keeping us back from that. So once we actually do them, it'll just flow like butter. But no, for right now, I'm just making a little TD monkey. I'm just doing a little bit of skin work right here. The model was relatively easy to do. It was... It was just a fluffy monkey, and there isn't much around that. Like, it's it was just such a wonder, 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 wonderful uh, animal to make. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. I did get my COVID shot yesterday, the second one, so it's kind of kicking me in the butt right now. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how I go. And here I am just working a little bit with some preliminary skinning. Most of what you see right here isn't even going to make it into like, you know, the final cut of the skin. Uh, but it's always good to have like, you know, some nice preliminary skin marks going. Just making sure you know where what reaches what. For instance, that little red mark on the head that like is a good indicator as to where the head will be. And as to where the ears are, you can see like the ears start to be filled in right there. But, you know, in the end, like, I think it comes out pretty good. That's what I say about every single thing I make, but hey, it's true. I'm, I just love everything I put out. But anyways, we are just opening up Planet Zoo right now. You can see how long it takes for it to load because I was doing a lot of testing earlier in the day. And yeah, we're just hopping into our little test zoo. I have a little bit of, you know, room for them to hang out. And I just do a little bit of like examining, like, you know, what needs to be done, what needs to be changed. And I think some of the main things I fix in here would be like, the head shape is the only thing of like the mesh that I actually fix. Besides that, I think the mesh actually turned out really good. You can see me start to use a little bit of real life photos for this as well. I just add them a little bit, make sure that they flow very nicely on side, or on side, wow, I can't even talk anymore, uh, onto the model itself. You can see like how well that like face texture turned out. It looks really good, but um, yeah, just watching me struggle throughout all this, one of the main things I wanted to do was get some nice skin going, and not even skin, I wanted to get some good fur textures going, so I actually do end up finding one from Flickr. I find that Flickr is such a really, really, really helpful, like, it's just really helpful when it comes to making mod textures, and, you know, I'm going to start using it a lot more. I did it for the marine iguana, I did it for, like, the emu, and I'm doing it for the little teeny monkey, so we'll see a lot more of those coming in the future. So, essentially, my process is taking, like, a few key frames of texture and going back into Blender and making sure it all flows nicely. So I just want to get, like, a good base of texture going on and then I do all the coloring all the highlights later it's a very methodical process but in the end I think it all comes out pretty good it's certainly a monkey now nah, I really I really do love how he turned out he's very adorable and he is on the Nexus right now for all of you guys to download he is absolutely free uh, no money required and actually it is the 104 104th mod for Planet Zoo. I could be extremely mistaken, but I think we have officially passed Frontier in terms of animals. We have officially doubled the roster. We have made 104 animals or 105. I probably have like 114 in my files right now, just like sitting there. 
but no, I'm just, it's really cool to see how far this community has come with that. And yeah, so I did mention in my last video that um, I will be going to Florida. So unfortunately, I won't be able to keep up with the mod showcases all that much. There will be one coming out this Sunday. But the one after that, it's going to be a big boy. I don't know if I'm going to make it like a really special episode where I cover like all the ones that have occurred over two weeks or if I'm just going to do like a quick one right after, like probably record it on Monday. I don't know. We'll have to see. You guys can see me start to work with the texture a lot more over here, uh, casually changing the subject because I am getting way too off topic. But yeah, opening Planet Zoo again, you guys could see me like work with the texture. I mirrored it, flipped it, made sure everything lines up nice and perfectly. And I touch it up in Blender just a little bit more. Do a lot of, I do a lot of shading in Blender and I really love it. I don't know. It's just such a good, like, I was never a fan of texturing in it. But once I learned how to like use the system as much as I could, it turns out really good. So you guys can see they're a little bit too bright. So I actually do end up like altering the color a little bit more and you can see me actually like bump up the saturation in these little things right here I don't, the like the brownish orange markings I guess they are but yeah I essentially fix all that up I'm opening planet zoo again because hey it takes forever to load and you can tell no the screen isn't frozen it's just planet zoo takes forever to load and yeah, Leaf is always getting off topic, especially right now, because guess what? He is very tired from his COVID shot, but um, nah, I'm just loading in right now. We will get some, like, not really cinematics, but we will be able to see him in a lot better light at the end of the video. I do make them a lot more fatter, actually. I, t I said earlier, like, oh yeah, the model's like pretty much done besides the face. No, I make them a lot fatter. And you can see me start to use the inflate tool, maybe not now, but pretty much soon. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, they are chunky little boys. I didn't really mess with the fur too much just because I didn't think it needed it. Like, they're already fat enough and I kind of wanted to keep it like relatively, like if you make the fur too long, it starts to look bad. And I felt like I could just make it look good enough with this. Not even good enough, make it look good. But yeah, just making sure everything lines up nicely, blending in everything, blending in all the textures. I think I will go back and redo some of the textures on these guys because they seem a little bit too stark in contrast from the orange to the black. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I do later. But for now, we're ending the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to the leaf pile. That's the official new term for all you guys i'm putting it down in stone right now you guys are the leaf pile but yeah we are gonna hop right in in like five seconds so thank you guys for watching be sure to drop a like be sure to drop a comment let me know if you guys have already downloaded him i love seeing how like all you guys download them before the videos even come out it's always like such a pleasure but yeah take care of you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye